just chill days finally. I'm not touring. I'm just spending some time at the beach with my friend Katie. She's currently working out over there. I don't know if you can see her. She's the one in the white. Very athletic girl. But essentially, I'm just chilling at the beach. I think that's the plan for today. Just like enjoying the beach day. The beach is right behind me. But so far, I think it's just going to be a calm day. And it's Tel Aviv. Oh, Katie! Perfect form. <laughs> Shalom, Katie. Shalom. How are you? Do you like doing gymnastics here? Can. Yeah? You like the beach? Can. Hi. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, we just had like a chill day at the beach. We're gonna go grab some lunch now and oh, enjoy the day, flow. Maybe go to like a meet up with some people later on. Yeah. So yeah, see you guys later. Hi guys, good morning. So now it's been about a few days that I'm here in Israel. Today I am going to be exploring Tel Aviv a little bit more closely. I went to the Tel Aviv Museum the other day, but today I really just want to like explore the city, get to know it a little better. I've been doing my tours the past few days just to know the outskirts of Israel, like the, the cities of Bethlehem, uh, Jerusalem, Haifa, Caesarea. All of these different little like uh, cities and towns outside but today I really just wanted to focus on Tel Aviv since I am gonna be here for a few more days and I think I'm gonna start with the neighborhood of Jaffa uh, and then possibly make my way towards the north part of Tel Aviv so I'm gonna be working my way from really the south part of Tel Aviv and making my way upwards. So that's the plan. I have a whole itinerary planned. Today I'm going to be trying out the bus. My friend Katie recommended that I use the app Move It, which is pretty cool because it lets you like schedule your trip and pay for your trip. Yeah, and I am also using like just like a little plan with Google Maps to kind of see what is around the area. So some of the highlights that I'm probably gonna do today are the Wishing Bridge, Natif Ham Salat, Al Bar Mosque, Andromeda's Rock, Jaffa Port, the suspended orange tree, and you know, the flea market and all of this stuff. So it's gonna be good. Uh, starting off my day a little late today, but that's totally okay. I think I've been going, going, going for the past, the past few weeks, few, few days actually, the past few days I've just been going and going and it's been very intense so today I just kind of wanted to take like a slow pace <sighs> when I'm not doing the tours, the 5am tours, but they've been great, the 5am tours are like a great way to get to know Israel and uh, yeah, I've eaten, I've gotten ready, I just wanted to like give you an update on how everything is and I'm gonna give you like this little view it's so pretty it, yeah look at that it's the ocean so a little context my friend Katie lives here now she got her master's degree and now she's pursuing another degree so that's very exciting for her I think she really likes Israel and I can see why <laughs> it's really gorgeous here I'm going to apply some sunscreen and then I'm going to head out, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. Hi friends, so I'm currently in the Jaffa neighborhood. I took the bus, it was like less than an hour driving from like the north of Tel Aviv. I really like the bus, it has like charging ports, and let's see, I mean right now, yeah I just took the bus and now I'm just going to see Jaffa, I'm going to start off at a park. 
I got to charge my phone in the meantime, which is a big plus. And the area is very quiet right now, so big plus. Starting off with the Mito Yasuo car. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I'll edit this later. So we're just starting off in the Jaffa region. Ooh, this one. You've probably heard it, but coming in August is no joke. Like, obviously, it's very beautiful and it's perfect for the beach, but it's scorchingly hot. So, I think the question is would I ever come back to Israel? And the answer is absolutely, but just not in the August time. Is like if you rub it, your wishes come true. So here we go. I hope your wishes come true. This is the view. And guys, I'm like sweating my ass off. So please don't like make fun of me. Like I know I look terrible and the sunshine is like killing me. So I'm just gonna keep walking for a little bit longer. easy here. Um, yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm going somewhere inside with AC or something. This is just it's a little bit too much for me at this point. Um, yeah, protect yourself against heat. Like, it's killer, honestly. I would definitely say, like, you know, with each time I travel, I guess I'm not, like, I don't spend so much time outdoors in the summertime, but like a parasol would actually be very helpful. What do you call it? 
yeah, it would be very helpful in the summertime. Of course, sunscreen, but like, that's a given, right? And a hat. <laughs> yeah, it's just terribly, terribly hot. And I've been walking for like two hours already. We got some vegan sushi. Do you remember what they said? Which one is which? Um, sandwich. <laughs> which one's a sandwich? This? Yeah. Okay. I think this is like a fake tuna somewhere. This one looks like fake tuna, sort of. Mushroom. Oh, that's the mushroom one. So this one's like the fake tuna. It's all yummy. Enjoy. How do you say, um, like bon appetit? Bete avon. Bete avon. Bete avon. Bete avon. Bete avon. Bete avon.